This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hey guys, welcome to Simpro, Fresh speaking here, and today we are going to look at the new Cottage Living expansion pack. The Sims team was so nice to gift me a pre 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 release, not really final version of the upcoming expansion pack. Today, as always, this is going to be this long video where I basically take out everything from the build by mode and look at it, give my two cents about it. This is usually a very long video, but I think I am the only one who does this really detailed version. Usually people tend to get some snacks, do something, I don't know, work, home office, whatever, and listen to me rant. But uh, yeah, so since this will be a really long video, I'm actually very excited. I haven't looked at the assets yet so far just a little bit you know playing and you know looking at the world which by the way looks really beautiful we are at the lot two old mill lane 50 by 40 a little bit uh, small for such a review but anyways as always i will put the timestamp out of each individual kind of like i don't know section of this review which will be the build build stuff then we do the buy stuff and in the end i always look at the overall you know, thing, the whole assets that we get here to kind of put it into perspective if this is a really good pack for builders in The Sims 4. So this will not cover cast, this will not cover gameplay, as and also it will not cover the debug objects, which are the hidden objects in this pack which come with the world. So without further ado, this will be, by the way, the hidden objects will be another video because usually when we get a new world, there are lots of hidden objects that they use to build these worlds and therefore it um, usually tends to make this video even longer okay so let's get started so we're gonna start with the new roofs that come with this it's a new thatched roof kind of thing okay good all right new thatched roof here we go thatched out roof oh we have lots of different colors i think we got thatched roof again in island living but this one definitely has more swatches Ooh. nice there's even a darker one gray one and then there's some that are a little bit mossy apparently a little bit like a greenish tint and I also know, happen to know, yes, they have their new... Why do roof trims always look so plasticky? In my opinion, I mean, I, this is a build that only has the cottage living expansion bag and the base game. So I can't really pull out the island living roofs to compare. But, I mean, we don't have so many roof trims the in my opinion colors are very lacking don't really match some of the roofing textures and colors and swatches and they always look so plastic here again i kind of think like to believe that the island living wood trims are a little bit higher in the polygons i don't know how to explain it but a little bit more detailed but okay so if you only if you don't have island living of course it makes sense to give us like the thatched roof trims that also happen to be the exact you know color swatches for these roofs so nice i guess uh yeah it's okay uh we're gonna go with really bright i guess and yeah see see from there or something i don't know <laughs> okay Good. Do we have any? Yes, we do. We have, let's go to packs, cottage living. We have some assets, of course. We have, ooh, that one has more swatches. Ah, okay, so it matches the roof textures and we have more swatches because sometimes the wooden texture or like wooden colors from the windows and etc. Oh, there's even a really white one, which is nice. Okay, I like that. I like that grayish green but yeah they are all kind of very bland colors of course but that makes sense since it's all like supposed to be the different wooden colors and then also match the you know roof 
texture color so you can actually you know say okay i really want to have that's the same one but yeah i really want to use that and kind of you know not make it not match <laughs> makes sense all right i like this one this one is beautiful <gasps> hello coming through Ooh, i like the greenish ones some are really greenish and then also a little bit you know tilted down so that's really cute kind of is like the i did i th i think i built a snow white cottage ones and i think uh, i had some problems recreating these tilted down roofs which is also a thing we don't have yet for the roofs i'm always a little bit like uh, give us that i want to have like a hanging through roof kind of thing so maybe some more I don't know action points on the roofs would be cool to even you know mod model them a little bit more i really really like it with like a little bit more different wooden swatches and then we have that oh that one is good is that tilted down now okay so this is straightforward okay hold on let me get me some All right, I think this is gonna match the, oh yeah, okay, so I really like that they, oh, there's even a black one. <laughs> As a horror movie enthusiast, of course, I like the black horror stuff again. All right, let's see if we have, is that a base game roof? Is it that one? Kind of looking like that, oh, maybe this one. The red one. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so you have the base game roof texture already. This matches the roof texture for that. Nice. I think. I mean, we also have this tat. I kind of like this more. <laughs> People are gonna hate me for this, but okay. Um, the thatch roof is kind of nice, you know, so it matches the different things. So that's good, I guess. What else do we have? Run of the mill roof support beam. Does this snap? Okay, so we can put them here. We can put them on the thing. Oh, that's interesting though, because it's just like a, and then you could theoretically do like really cool trims now. It's very basic, but I love these basic stuff. So you could theoretically do like these different beams, which is cool. Like a down, pointed down one would be even better. Then there we have this bowl cut roof to pay. <laughs> is this really what it's called in English? Roof to pay. Um, you put them on the, on the roofs, I guess. Okay, so there's an end piece. And there's an even wider piece so you don't have to go all the way. Um, and then there are also some pieces with like different animals on it. There's a rabbit, a fox, and a, <laughs> a chicken. A cock? It's a cock. Okay, there we go. I said cock in the video. Great. This is off to a good start. Okay, and can I turn this? Yes, I can turn this. So this is quite straightforward. Let's look at the swatches here. All right, so that could be matching. I kind of like if they mismatch a little, which is probably not how it's gonna look like in real life. I have never seen these kinds of roof patterns or whatever um, ornaments in real life. I've seen them on pictures, but this is definitely how not how some of the thatch roof that we have in Germany, like in Northern Germany, we have like something that's called Reddach. Um, I'm gonna do the full thing. I have, I really like this. I really like this. This is a cool new, you know, definitely gives a little bit more detail to your house because the roofs have usually just really bland textures. I kind of think that I would like the base game thing more, the thatch roof. I don't know, it's a little bit bland. Yeah, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's okay. 
I like that it matches, you know, the different trimmings that we have. The little creatures are also made out of hay or whatever. So that's kind of cute. Don't know if that is a thing over there in England. But we also have turn of the century, a new brick chimney. Okay, cool. And this seems to be a base game brick wall, as I, if I remember correctly. Oh, it has even black. Oh, the black. Okay. But yeah, quite cute. And an old New Hanford's chimney. Oh, that one is cute. Okay, this is definitely something we didn't have in another, like, other packs. Let's see if we have something similar in the base game. No, not really. I mean, this one would have, in my opinion, be good too for that style. But maybe, because I think something similar we have in Cats and Dogs, a little bit bigger. But, uh, yeah, just giving the thing that if you don't have these two, like, with the two pipes and that, that thing, <laughs> the arch thing... In the base game, this is kind of cool, you know, that they definitely give you some different shapes for the chimneys here. So that's cool. I really like that. This is cool. I kind of want to use that for, I don't know, an end piece of a fence or something. That would be also interesting. But yeah, I really like this. This is nice. We don't get so many dormers. I mean, we get lots of dormers with different packs, but... These doors are quite high detail, they match the roof, so that's cool. What I want to say about these roof ornaments here is since they are an object and not like implemented into the roof texture, which I thought when I saw the trailer that this is gonna happen, that this is gonna be automatically the roof texture, kinda, you know, like, um, is that now if you wanna do this, you can't, like, you know, it, it doesn't adjust, of course, since it is an object. Uh, you can, of course, tilt it a little bit or, I don't know, maybe even, yeah, can I put it, yeah, over it as well. Kind of gives a nice end piece or something. But since you can, I think, um, make them bigger, I can maybe, you know, do some shenanigans with that. So I kind of like that idea. It's kind of weird, <laughs> wonky thing. But yeah, that's the only thing that I kind of, you know, they're not like round or something. But I think this is also because these ornaments, you know, in real life also are like kind of very straight in like a 90 degree angle kind of thing, you know. So it's okay. I really like it. It's very detailed. Really love that. Would have loved to have something that is also going around, you know, it's just... The roof textures, yeah, yeah. I really, I think especially for builders, if you, you know, are someone like me who tends to be hours and hours in game, just building and like point stuff out. By the way, there's a little ornament here as well. And I don't know if you put this on the roof or under it to, you know, kind of, uh, I don't know, under it. Can you put it? Uh, here well I suppose I think you have you have to or you can put it here as well alongside so I like that I like that because it's very basic and then you can it go crazy with this especially if you have move objects sheet on which we're gonna put in now bb dot move objects thank you kind of freely place this everywhere as little slabs or something because usually we got the slabs out of debug but now you know you have at least some some things <laughs> all right uh do we get any trims no no freezes no trims uh uh, uh, uh wallpaper we get new wallpaper of course so first of all we have the interior wallpaper nice maybe i'm gonna change this so we have at least a little bit of space all right uh yeah what is that art nouveau kind of be leaves and it's cute what kind of Ooh. okay the sun is very bright here but here you can see the textures oh that's that's nice the dark one i don't know i've seen it in the trailer but like the Ooh. that's nice maybe you can put um a base game thing here to kind of break this up. 
gonna have a look at this later. I definitely... Oh, there's even a red one. Reddish. Ah, nice. Okay, so this has like a very greeny or white background or like a bluish background. And then different, you know... Hold on, let me do it like that so I can see the different... By the way, can we do day? Yeah, I think that's better. Uh, here, here. Did we do that already? This one is new. Right one. So yeah, sometimes you can even break up the, the wooden colors, maybe. Or you keep the wooden colors and then change the, you know, color of the, of the wallpaper. So that's interesting. How about this one? Is that a new one as well? Kind of looks exactly the same. Huh? Oh! It's just... It's mirrored? Is that the thing? It's a mirrored version of it? Just points into the other direction? So theoretically... Is that the main idea of it? To do this, and then you take this one, so you can break it up. <gasps> ah, that's so clever. All right, yeah, that definitely looks cool. Got it. Clever murder. <laughs> That's really good. I like that. That's a clever... I did not see that coming. That this is... I was like, why is there two assets of it? What the hell? All right. Another one. Oh, there it comes with different patterns as well. Are there little mushrooms on it? Little rabbits and whatnot? Ah, I don't have, like, enough room. But yeah, okay, so I think we have the rabbits, we have black, and we have that. Do we have a black under? No. Okay, so I don't know why here we have definitely a black wooden swatch, which I like more. <laughs> but it's cute because one is like these, this, you know, the thing with the flowers on, and the other one is this, by the way, plane, plane in the background, flying over. And like, oh, that's kind of cute. I can see this also being used maybe in a... It's very, you know, cartoony, as always, as it is in The Sims. I'm usually not a big fan of this, but maybe in a kid's room or so, or like in a funny fantasy fairy build or something like that. This could be cool. I personally like this one the most, I think, this color swatch, and like the very beigey, bland ones as well, so they don't take away that much. Brick Whisper! So we have a new brick wall. Cool. Oh, it's basically just halfway. Done brick. I don't know how to explain this. It's plastered, but the plaster got, you know, is washed up. I think we have something similar in different other packs, but you know, given I think we don't have something like that in the in in the base game. So I, I like this. This definitely expands base game build mode. Um, yeah, it's very subtle. This one, kind of like that. Or maybe it's like a brick wall, but painted over, and the paint is kind of chipping off a little bit. So I kind of I really like this. It's kind of nice for townsy things. The brick is a little bit too industrial, I think, for maybe cottages, or maybe I'm wrong, because this is basically the the brick that I consider this typical English cottage brick, if you know what I mean. But, you know, it's interesting, it's interesting. Maybe, you know, if you have like a more modern... Sorry that I'm gonna go over these here but yeah the color swatches are you know you could you know there's always this dark blue gray so you have these two can kind of mix them you know 
um, and I think this is gonna be that color here or this this color yeah so these two seem to have the same color swatches no this one has more okay this one definitely has more in the very whitey versions I don't know where the difference between these two okay these are mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And here oh it's the it's the plaster in the middle if you take this one this one to this one you can see that this has a little bit more I don't know higher dynamic I guess so that's interesting that they chose to have higher dynamic in the lighter shades of this brick it's also shown here if you go over the thumbnail okay cute 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 and another brick this one is basically like this brick but not painted over this could be also interesting to mix and match them here we also have the swatches from the one before sometimes there's a little bit more texture i would say like more higher dynamic like the 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 filling between the bricks is lighter or darker as the bricks I personally like that more if it has like more texture always think like from afar it looks a little bit better you know higher detailed um, but uh, maybe this is also not like as accurate you know you know we have to you have to make do I really like that they mixed like the, the swatches are the same again um, than the others so that's cool and now my favorite which is basically just this one but it has this end trim oh yes so you can basically take that one which is the one without the trim and like cover up the trims if you don't like them because they automatically appear if the edge is like two tiles from the other you know from the other side from the edge <laughs> I like this. This is beautiful. I like this. I like this. I always like these trims things. I always like to experiment with them. Okay. So we have a darker version. I'm gonna do this on the edge so you can get a better look at everything. Is there one where it's like um the end trim is a little bit very lighter than the other ones? Because this looks very bland again also i don't get we have that chimney in like a reddish brick color however that brick color doesn't make it in any of these swatches why here's no red no red this one is a brownish maybe yeah you could use that but it's definitely isn't that the brick from that you know why is there red color chimney by the way here we see again that roof decorations always snap very weirdly you have to take them again and place them correctly still not fixed in the sims after seven years but okay uh so yeah that's the only reason why i'm like what why is why do we have why do they introduce again what is it with the reds i think the last time we had the red where i was like why is that swatch not in anything else <laughs> in snowy escape it's a red color i think they have some some maybe the person who does the objects colors is not talking to the person who does the wallpaper colors i don't know but like i would have liked to have this of course matching because why would you buy a cottage or build a cottage out of you know painted like really sand stone bricks and then have like this red brick why would you change material while constructing a house? Do you know what I mean? This yeah, this is kind of weird. I kind of like that we have that with the trim and without the trim. That's nice. And I was absolutely blown away that this is just, you know, the same but mirrored and like, <laughs> I really like that. Okay, what I wanted to do for this here is I wanted to go into paneling and see if we have something that is looking like this. No. No! What an opportunity. Oh, a waste of opportunity there. I would have loved that we have that, but without. Uh, yeah. Also, this has even. This is a base game one. This has more texture than. 
than the other ones. Okay, I think now these are always higher, which is um, a shame. I thought that maybe in base game we have this paneling with nothing on it so we can have like even you know make like a little space between them or something i don't know here we don't have the panels here we have something kind of similar if you know what i mean so weird that we have like different heights of the wall panels but yeah i was thinking something like this this is also snapping higher weird okay but you 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 get what i want to say right <laughs> So we could have done something with these, but okay, missed opportunity there. Interesting though. I kind of like this, like a lot. All right, spandrels. I've seen we have a new spandrel. All right, okay. I've I've looked. Uh, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> this is the cottage living spandrel. And I'm gonna go into base game and then you're gonna tell me where the difference is. Okay, so this is the other one. This is the cottage live. This, this one. It's slightly different. Slightly different. Now, however, I haven't looked into English cottages or something. And this is a little bit more subtle. But given that this makes this edge thing yeah okay let's see i think we also get new columns and there's also black again so here they have the black from the from the panels and stuff so you can match it to the you know wooden colors there's also green all right let's get the columns in yeah here we go column number one column number two there's the green All right, all right, all right. Same colors as the spandrels, as I can see. The thing is, it's very subtle. I think if you play with this, I personally like it. How's the... Okay, it's, it's not a big arch that it does, you know. It's not, it doesn't create like a big arch then, for example was it that one yeah this one is definitely more prominent of course um however maybe because sometimes i've been you know trying to at least break up the white ceilings that we have in this game with this with the spandrel so we have like this timber framing kind of all right, and if we do a cross, uh, what it not, what it shouldn't do is when it crosses the other spandrel, to put like this little ornament down, which it does. Okay, this is uh, yeah, okay. So I can't really use it for these timber framing things on the on the ceiling, which is still the spandrel from Seasons, I think, that doesn't do that. Therefore, I use it a lot for uh, these beams on the ceiling and whatnot and little ornaments on the ceiling. I know in gameplay you don't see the ceiling. I personally as a builder, I see the ceiling. <laughs> I look at everything from down under and stuff. And yeah, it's, uh, yeah. I think this is nice to get another spandrel because spandrels are usually a thing that Sims team tends to forget. However, I think this looks very similar to the ones we have, you know. And this one makes nicer ornaments. I think these are like from the Villa Creek, so it kind of has to do with the painted lady, kind of Victor American Victorian. Maybe this is more English. I think these styles are kind of very similar. You know what I mean? Um, this one is one of my faves from base game because it has this very cool thick spandrel. I like a thick spandrel in game. This is more subtle. Um, yeah, and also the same with the column. Isn't that the same? Oh my god, this is the same column. Sorry, but yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? What? Alright, this doesn't have, of course, all the colors which it matches, but like, look at this. I mean, this is almost the same column. Um, 
and we have that issue with the almost same columns <laughs> yeah um i mean this is of course higher detail this is from an expansion pack years later uh, the assets are always more detailed however this is unnecessary i kind of would have loved to see a really thick column because that is, I think, the thickest column. And I think if they would make it even bigger, because always what, what bugged me is the column footprint is like one tile, right? Why are there no columns that are like this thick? And then you could have used that brick, you know, this brick, like make a really thick column. And then you could do like weird brick archways just with the spandrels, with like a stone bricky spandrel. Of course, I'm not spent with uh, like hanging bricks from the ceiling, but like to create archways and whatnot with like really thick columns. That would be. Why is that not a thing? I would have expected that this is in there, but this is something we have in base game. So, of course, this kind of slightly expands base game, but um... <sighs> yeah, I don't see the necessity. Also in the spandrel. Um. I have to say I was absolutely, I'm, I'm super in love with the Courtyard Oasis kit because that came with two very different spandrels that are very thick. They are it's super different style. Of course, we have to work with English Cottage uh, core here. It's, it's okay. Maybe that is a little bit more subtle, but I really would have loved to see more thicker ornaments or whatever. Um, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> All right, let's move this uh, big boy up. Uh, because I want to see if we have a foundation. No, no new foundation. No. Do we have new... We have new... Ooh, hello. We have new fences. Okay, so this is basically your exterior kind of fence. It's very run down. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. Okay, there's like a newish one and like white painted. And then there are some that have like, oh yeah, matte texture. Yeah, more texture. Always good, always good, always good. Love that, love that, love that. Okay, and then there's black. This reddish. I love that. Like up close, these are really nice. How is that looking? Oh, that's the same. Oh, you could like do one like this. And then sometimes, like this is the old version of it. And then some are already repaired or like, you know, you can have like nice little storytelling about like rundown and whatnot. Before, after renovation kind of thing. Maybe this is like cool for home decorator. What's his name? You know what I mean. Dream home decorator? Is that the name? I'm sorry if I can't. But this is really cute. This is really cute. Uh, okay, let's see something that always bugged me. How does it look if I put this on a round? Okay, if you put it on a round, it's also like one thing on the other. Okay, okay, okay. Because that sometimes changes and this bug is still not done. Okay, this will, by the way, leave us here forever. This will stay forever. Thank you, build mode and its bugs. Um, so yeah, be careful when you try out round things and aren't, you have to be absolutely sure when you place the fence because this is not gonna go now, I think. Um, maybe we can do this. No, no. Wasn't there a trick to that? Uh, okay. Anyways, let's go back to the... Oh, that one is cute. And there's a green one that matches the... Yeah, this green one matches it, but it's also breaking through with like some brown... Oh, that's nice. That's really nice that we have... It's all matching the different... You know, the, the wooden color theme, I would say, from Cottage Living. Oh, there's a red one as well. Cute, cute, cute. Yeah, it's nice. This is definitely more of your interior kind of thing. And this one it got me excited. I saw it in the trailer. I was like, yes, finally. Ah. 
so good. There's a bluish one. Like for fantasy builds, this fence, I've used it so many times because there's a similar one in Get Together. Also, at the end of this video, I will definitely tell you what I think about, you know, which pack you maybe for as a builder need. Because I kind of see some things that I already feared would, you know, happen. Wow, this is so cool. This is, this is, you don't, you guys, you don't, you don't have this in base game. I'm pretty sure. And you could break this up with like some, some of these here. Nice. Is that the low one? Okay, it's not as high as the, that would have been cool if that would be possible. But yeah, we don't have any brick kind of cobblestone fences in base game. So that's a super important one, in my opinion, to add. So that's good. I really love that one. This is really cool. Okay, hold on. Let me do the... Why did we do it like that? Okay. Let's see. So this is one through. And how is this reacting to around when it's working? Hello? There we go. Okay, so this also doesn't... You know, it keeps to be one big thing. Nice. All right. <laughs> we have these poles here. <laughs> All right. Um, that's good. I'm gonna delete this because I think we got new stairs. Yes, we do. Also like a big one, maybe. Kind of see if we get railings, how the railings look. All right. So this only comes in three colors. Uh, why? Is this supposed to be wood? Oh, it's supposed to be stone plaster kind of things. Maybe we see like some tiles for that. So it matches the tiles. Oh no, I did the wrong one. Okay, okay. I have to roll back here. This is the wrong one. <laughs> All right, cottage living, so I don't get, okay. All right, one, two. Okay, yeah, it is wood and it's matching the wood. I always wanted to, almost wanted to scold the team here again for it messing up the color swatches but no okay everything's fine everything's fine oh there's a black one yes hello oh i don't have enough funds mother low please yay all right and this is the big one all right oh it has comes with the brick that we ha can see here on that side all right cool um it is wood it is nice apparently do we have that wood as like a floor as well i don't know but it's good do we have railings we have the railings to that fence okay they are matching i think the different yeah okay they're definitely matching these these fences okay so if you see the the swatches of the you know here you can see that I mean that's nice that's nice that's nice um white of course there's always a white one so yeah I think I kind of like that this has different swatches as well and make, matches the fence and now the oh, wow uh, <laughs> oh it has the matching doors do you know why I, I don't know why but the sims team hates putting in the doors for the fences no one knows why but okay this time they gave us the fan the door for the fence the little gate oh that's beautiful yes okay they match the different colors this is reddish brown let's see is that the one yeah that's definitely one okay oh, okay this is good because uh, how many times did we get new fences, new railings, everything, and not the matching gate. Now, this is more of an indoor fence, so I would have understood that this doesn't come with a gate who has a gate under indoor, you know, railings and fence and whatnot. But for the exterior ones, definitely. Nice. Oh, you can even, like, mix match then, of course, right? Like, you can say, I have the white here. But, you know, have like a totally white one. Or you could say, okay, I want to have the really matching one. I kind of like that. That's really cool. 
Okay, let's see this one. Ah, this is a two by two again. With some flowers on it. Nice. Let's see. There's also a black one. Okay, then the flowers definitely change color. But it matches the wooden colors that we have in this whole set. So that's good. I kind of like that. And you can select it either by the, of course, matching the fence or matching the wood or matching, I don't know, if you like blue flowers, you get blue flowers, whatever. Uh, but, but I like that. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. It's, it's nice. Kind of like the mismatching a little bit more. But yeah, that's good. Nice. Nothing new here, by the way. As you can see, this is like a... We will have some changes in the UI. We have ponds now. And we will get... This is going to be a base game update. The pond tool. So basically the terrain manipulation. Everything. And I can... Okay, right click, left click. I think that would have been more intuitive. You know, right takes away, left click adds. But okay, maybe this is... This is filling. Fill to height. Oh, nice. And remove it. Oh, nice. Really cool. This is a very shitty looking bond. But you get, you know, you get what... This is a base game thing. This is not in the cottage living, but this is definitely maybe the first time you see it. I don't know when they're gonna implement that base game change. But also they're gonna give us, oh yeah, maybe we take that pond with us. Hold on. And I'm gonna show you, I think some assets are going to be... This is like such a big hole. Oops. Oops. I'm gonna fill to height or fill to here. Alright. And uh, we have the changing colors here. I think this is all going to be base game. So, But they are really nice watercolors here now. Really, really nice looking. Is there anything that... This one comes with cottage living then. Okay, so this... Is this on the... Okay, you have to put that on the... I think the, there's like water coming out of it. It's a fountain. Wake up and spill the water. All right, cute. It's a little cock on the gardening can. Or a chicken. It's a cock. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sometimes 12. All right, um, has the same, the crate has apparently the same color swatches. You know, it's not too colorful in my opinion, so that's good because sometimes the same team because it's really colorful and I hate that sometimes. For example, in Romantic Garden, it was a little bit for like, you can fish now, you can decorate it. Okay, I will definitely look at this. Some are animated, there comes like a little turtle with it and whatnot. But yeah, this is gonna be in base game. So this is a new, is this something from Cottage Living? Okay, the only Cottage Living water asset apparently. Oh, by the way, you can like put like ducks on it and whatnot now. Um, is the 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 cock fountain, <laughs> which we're gonna talk like call it like that now. All right. Uh, okay. Let's go over to windows and doors and whatnot. All of them cottage living. Let's see. Let's see. Show me what you got. So we have a small one. I like that because we can like now, you know, freely place them and then you could here theoretically have this huge mansion kind of thing as well, which is nice. How are the thing in the middle? Okay, this is like a plain one. So we don't have like the white exterior trimming and then these diagonals in it are like red, for example. Uh, but they match the wooden colors, so that's good. Oops, yeah, we definitely have move objects on, so. But yeah, there's black, there is white, there is greenish, there's bluish, there's, uh, you know, the different wooden colors that we already know. 
Then we have a stone window with a stone trim, I mean. This one comes in different colors. That is nice. Kind of reminds me of Discover University a little bit. And these are also some of my favorite windows for classical buildings. I hope that this is the same. Some of the swatches seem to be the ones that we also know from Discover University. So I like that this is like crossover color coordinated, I guess. And then the small one. Oh, how does this look if I put this next to one another? All right. Yeah, and these match definitely. Like this is this one. Okay, good. Ah, pointed arch, but again, pointed arch <laughs> in wooden colors. No, Sims team. We talked about this. Okay, for those who don't know, I really love classical buildings. I like the pointed gothic arch. I love it. I use it a lot. And we have something similar in Strangeable, also in wood. I don't know. But I need this to be in stone. Can I match this to the stone color so I can pretend it's stone? But this is definitely, yeah, maybe here. How am I supposed to build churches without a long, nice pointed arch? And we have a square one here too. And with the same color swatches that we know from here, I guess. Yeah, exactly same. Oh no, here's one more. Which one is missing? White, gray, red. The very red one is missing. All right. I think. <laughs> I don't know why they did that. It's okay. Okay, and then we have that one. It's a round one with like painted glass. Again, the exterior is probably supposed to be wood. Why? Why? But you know, for fantasy simmers, okay, I'm gonna, okay, it seems to be have three different, three different. So we have the butterfly, then we have a fox, and we have a bee. Oh, the fox even changes color here. No one knows why, but it does. This is not the same as that one. What? So this is that one. Oh, this is a lighter. Okay. So we have a red fox or orange fox. And we have a bee. Okay, the fox changes color as well. Get it. Then we have a bee. Do we have another one? No. Okay, and then the bee. And like its perspective. No, this is the black one. The black. All right. Okay, so every everything comes with like... A black swatch, I guess. That's the B. All right, so they all have their perspective swatches. So you could theoretically say, okay, I want to go with black wood. What's happening here again? Yeah, just a quick reminder. This is not the final version. Um, and I changed the color, like the 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 the, the pictures and the and the windows. So that's good. That's good. All right, or maybe I, I leave them down there. I leave them there. Mm. Then we have, mm, I think these are matching this in round. I like round roofs. That's nice. I Because first of all, I really like, okay. What I really like here is that they give us different sets of, you know, materials and color swatches and whatnot. And I think that's great. And this is also like the wooden trim set. Okay, I get it. Yeah, this is cool. It's like two. Oh, I would love to put like bigger windows then. Oh, that's so nice. Um, So first of all, is this all cottage ready now? No, okay. Oh, there we go. Something with shutters. Okay. I think I see a pattern which, like, that there are three sets of windows and doors are going to be. So I'm just gonna say it out loud now. Let's see if I'm right. But one is like a wooden... Oh my god, why is this happening? Hello? Stop it. 
All right. No, still happening. Okay. Um, that we have. Oh, just wipe this. Um, that we have like a wooden. <laughs> I can't even move my mouse. What is this? Um, a wooden set <laughs> for like the cottages, right? And then we have a stone kind of trim set for like the townhouses and like the pubs or whatever. I personally like that this set kind of matches the Discover University set as well. And then we have something that I would just call fantasy core set. Is this happening on this wall? No. Okay, let's lose that wall. So that that's that. Okay, let's let's put the sets together. Let's put the sets together. There we go. Yeah. Oh my god, why is this happening? Um and then there is this fantasy core. I'm just gonna call it fantasy core. I don't know. But we have the different shutter things. I really love this. Ah, oh, there's a little emblem on it. Oh no, it's oh no, it's 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 not I thought it's metal for a second, but it is the wallpaper. It's cut out here. <gasps> oh, and the shutters are also like different colors here. Is there white and the red? Yes. Okay, so it all matches. That is super cute. That is super cute. And like, if you have these, you can put them together. I hope I find the middle thing. No. This is from the stone set. All right. All right, one oversight I see here is I don't see that without the shutter, which would have been nice. You know, that without the shutter. I don't know why it isn't here. I don't see it here. You could theoretically say I wanna have, I don't know which one, this one in the middle here. Um, I mean, because that's part of the set here, right? And I like that this has like this little open window on this one. But also I would have loved to have just one without the shutter and like this round arch thing. I don't know why that, that is not a thing. Because like removing an object, right? Like part of an object, is, isn't that easier? If they already have that asset, why? What's happening? But yeah, this is really cute. Here we have something for the this as well I guess oh no this has a stone trim under it oh this is tying the knot between the wooden I guess and the is this because of the foundation that is glitching so much because I sometimes go over the foundation all right maybe now no okay it wasn't the foundation oh this is nice I don't get maybe that's a British thing again that I don't get, but like there is this it probably matches the fences and whatnot. Um and the bricks. Um that's nice. <laughs> I don't know why there's like all of a sudden a stone trim under it and here we don't have it. But I can maybe this is a cool thing for, you know, the the first floor, ground floor kind of windows or something. I don't know. But it's cute with the arches and the little ornaments in it. This doesn't come in so many wood swatches, so they don't go crazy like we go here. But it's okay. Then we have that one. Oh, that matches the oh, that matches the thatch roof. Ah, that's cute though. Does it match the roofs? And it matches the color sets again with the red and white and la 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 la. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. So you have that ornament here as well. Okay, which matches this one? Is that the same? I guess. Nice. I like that. That's cute. All right, and then again, shutters, shutters. Okay, this definitely is the same. Here they did that. Okay, this is odd. Okay, I don't know. Okay, all right. Okay, let's let's get these. These are definitely a set. I think this is why I'm gonna put them next to each other. But oh my god, look at this! 
<sighs> okay, let's just say... Okay, and th th this is why it doesn't have so many swatches, because here the shutters change. Hello, this is so good. Oh no, that was the wrong color, I don't know. Somewhere here. Cute! Cute! Alright, so here they have the filler in the middle. I don't know why they don't have it here. It's a thing. This definitely we have in base game, I think. Like, almost the same. Yeah, it matches the dormer that comes with this pack. I think this inspiration I also put placed here. Kind of cute because you can, you know, put these next to it and like make it longer or put it under to make like bigger windows for the whole wall or something. Um, and then we have this one. Oh, we can paste this in the middle of that. For example. And it matches. This also has like more ornaments. Kind of looks like a shop thing also. So I like that. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Okay. Shutters. Okay. This is a set as well. The shutter thing. And then a bigger one, I guess. Wait, what's that? Oh yeah. This is a higher one. Bigger one. Whatever. All right. I get it. It's cute. They all have the different swatches that match. Still don't get why we don't have the single one. Do I have everything? I think, yeah. Okay. Yeah, these are all the windows. So I really like the sets. Definitely what's a new kind of asset is like the shutter things because we don't have so many in base game. Let me sh show you. I think the shutter ones, you know, we have the Palladian kind of windows here with the different shutters. Um, and then there is like the single ones. Isn't that base game? Is that not base game? The one I'm thinking of? Oh yeah, here we are. These ones were the other ones that we have in base game. So more shutters, I guess. I don't get why the Sims team saves assets. Sorry to say, but like I have to say it here. You could save assets by giving us this window without the shutter you know, and this window and this window without the shutter and then give us different shutters that we could then later as an object attach to the windows. Because I think that's what it was in The Sims 3. Because that would give us more creative freedom to create our own windows without shutters, with shutters, you know, maybe mixed shutters or whatever. So I don't get that we get again, now that we can freely place these objects over one another, we definitely need more modular, also more modular assets for the windows and doors since we can now freely move them. So I don't get why we don't get single shutters. I mean, yeah, why why don't we get that? Because we could, this is basically like a door, right? And then you can just put it over the side of your, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. Definitely single shutters would be better, in my opinion. I think this is more convenient to place then. You know, you already have the shutters. You ha also have the whole thing. I don't get it. I just, why not give us shutters? That is also something I don't get it again. Yeah, that was, why? Is anyone building here? <laughs> All right. Um, let's do doors first before we do the decorations. All right, I'm going to put them here. Oh my God. <gasps> Hello. Oh, this is so cute. This one with the wreath. Oh my God. Oh my God. So good. <gasps> this is even better. Hello. Oh my god, this is matching the brick. Shut up. Okay, these are definitely different doors, finally. Because usually they give us these kinds of doors, right? Like, it's it's nice. But, you know, guys, I'm obsessed with, like, medieval builds recently. 
and like a little bit more fantasy and this is like this is the total fantasy door hello oh, this is gone okay i already know some of my building friends who are gonna go absolutely nuts with this sati shout out to you this is the you know where it's like used here ah just that <laughs> Okay, this is a little bit, you know, that doesn't have to... I love that used look here. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. And it has a fox handle, so you can go with like a fox cottage with a, like a fox theme or whatnot. Oh, this is great. Is this all of them? No, there's also... Oh my god, there's another one. A bigger one. Yes, no arches though, so I'm kind of like, mm, your spandrel doesn't make any arches. Why is there not an archway like this as an arch? Again, you should have just deleted that door and give us the arch and like this arch maybe as well. I mean, that doesn't make sense as an arch, but you know, something like that. Or maybe this as an arch as well. Yeah, if you already have the Acid Sims team, then just create another asset and delete like parts of the assets like this <laughs> uh, yeah i will never understand sometimes why they i mean i i know why they give us the swatches that are the swatches right why why it's so limited because they don't want you know like just for for processing reasons i guess on your laptop and whatnot like if someone plays on a shitty laptop and you have like all the different swatches and whatnot i can you know assume i just assume that this is bad but then again giving us the creative freedom should be the first thing right that's that's the premise that's your motto that's the creed of building if i do the as assets to give as much creative freedom with the small like with the recommendations we we, we have like the different swatches so why not giving us different items like the shutters, like the archways, so we can create them our own. This one is cute, but this is not as prominent as with the gold here. Why? But this is so medieval, I love it. Oh my god, oh my god, this is gonna be so good. I love this. Medieval builds. When is Sims Medieval coming? I need this. Uh, it also matches the Realm of Magic stuff, like, you know. So that's really cute, really cute. And I know Realm of Magic is a very favorite builder's uh, thing, definitely. All right, <laughs> enough distraction. We have, oh, can we put stuff on there? Okay, definitely remind me later that I wanna check out if we can put stuff on there. I think this is supposed to be under the roof like this, maybe, I guess, like this, you know. Or maybe like a more prominent color red matches the wooden colors again yeah the thing is you know we can see that this is not lying on it. anyways <coughs> i don't know why it is an exterior floral bragger flowers stick out from the water carry structural often cobbles yeah i also know them from interior design to put like a candle holder or something Pride and Prejudice coming through, which is also something I'm going to talk about later because, ugh, here we have the horrible swatches again. I don't know what it is with flowers. Ah, yeah, okay. I think I have an idea why they do that here with the colors. This, I think, matches the Romantic Garden colors. And I was thinking, why is Romantic Garden has like such weird swatches and especially like this bright pink flowers and like bright purple and whatnot. Um, and I think the Sims team uses Thomas Kincaid. Is that the name of the... Yeah, I'm, I think I've seen another painting that comes with it. I will explain it on the painting. This is cute. And we can move them up and down like yes and then we ah hello i want to report a murder <laughs> oh my god 
This is amazing. I can freely add ivy now. That doesn't look super flat. There's a little bit more. Ah, this is great. And then I could theoretically say, okay, this is the end of it. <gasps> so good. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, this is... What is this? Grapes or is it wisteria? Wisteria, yeah. Okay. Ah, and then I could... <laughs> and I can make my own little things with it. I like put them over one another and whatnot. Oh, this is great. And a small one. Ah, oh, please tell me that no, they're not different swatches. Also, not an ivy. Ah, this is one of your most present assets, I think. I know people will definitely use the shit out of this ivy and the wisteria, and now they don't give us this function. <laughs> like, I would have liked to see. I don't know. Maybe it changes if we have seasons, but I also would have liked to see some different ivy colors, like a darker ivy. Then there's also ivy that is variegated with white. I think that's supposed to be ivy. Yes. So, yeah. You, you, some seem, you know that we have different Hedera helix. That's the, I think, Latin Greek name for, for ivy. Um, yeah, you know, you know that we have that. Yeah. Okay. I like the wisteria, but also wisteria is common different colors, I think. There is this purple, but isn't there also a bluish and pinkish version? So, yeah, I think pink is quite high up for the Sims players. Um, I'm not that much into pink, but I know so many different Simmers that aren't pink. Okay, we have an awning that matches the thatch roof. Shut up. No. This is amazing. Ah, yes. Very good. And another awning. What if I put this up here? That kind of looks cute too. This kind of reminds me of a, like a German cuckoo clock. <laughs> It's the maybe I'm gonna build a cuckoo clock house or something. Yeah, that matches this dormer. It matches what was it? This one. By the way, I wanted to look up if we have that in base game because isn't there something similar in base game already? Yeah, here it has shutters, and then that, and isn't there also one with a roof on it here? Okay, what? This is the um. This is I'm speechless. Wait, this is the bay window. This is the same window? <gasps> ah. They don't have the roof. All right, I just wanted to say that we already have that, but maybe it wasn't another pack. Okay, okay, I don't say that. Uh, all right, awnings. And the balcony. Okay, cuckoo clock incoming, I swear to God. Ah, oh, this is so good. It's a yellow, please have a dark one with red. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh you could make like also cute Austrian kind of, oh, that's so cute, okay. I like this. All right. All right, let's do floors. Oh, we only have two floors? Excuse me, what? Okay. 
Okay. So we have like this floor. Seaside cottage. Okay. Um, doesn't come in the same wooden swatches that we have from the other thing, so I am confusion. Oh, this one is a nice color. Is that the same? No, it's not the same. Okay. That is also not the same. Okay. And black. Where's the red and the green and the blue that you use here? I was just assuming you get these, you know, matching. Hello? Why is that not a thing? And we have green and we have blue and we have the red here and we have that in the fence and we have that. So people paint their wood on the wall and on the fence and on the railing and on the spandrel, but they wouldn't do that tinted on the floor. Is that the logic here? In the Sims, you know, who cares? The thing is what I like about this and I'm going to show you real quick. You turn this, you do a checkerboard. Oops, wrong. You do a checkerboard. Once it's turned and then you use the same one, turn this, fill. And then you have this cool pattern here, which is also nice. Gives you definitely a little bit more, you know, and also maybe if you do stuff with it, if it's, what was it, that? Yeah, um, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, it's always too diagonal, so you can't really say, okay, we have a stain here or something. Because it's kind of very, yeah. Um, but at least you can do that, so I like that. I like that when, you know, floors have some sort of pattern already on, and if you just turn them and, like, mix the turned pattern with, like, different I don't know. All right, next floor is the Primrose Path. The primrose path. Oh, that comes in different colors. No. Okay, this is definitely very okay. Okay. Remember what I was saying about the very colorful garden assets and flowers that usually then the Sims team goes crazy with the colors and I'm not a fan. I personally not a fan of flowers anyways, because color I'm I like green and like different leaves and stuff. So I was like because I value that more, different green shades, um, than like, I don't know, having like a bunch of different colors in a, in a thing. Anyways, this is a primrose path and I think I've seen that here. Yes. Which one is that? That's the pink one? Is that supposed to be the pink one? Doesn't come in any other color. But there is a spray paint for this. And now let me tell you what this... Uh, okay, so if we have the spray paint for this, I mean, that's nice. I always love that this... Okay, let me... Okay, how am I going to put it? I think this is unnecessary as a floor. Only if you want to put that in like the second floor, third floor of your build inside of a room. But I'm just going to assume because this is a stone thing that they, you know, that they wanted us to place that on the floor as like a garden thing. Then why do we get one spray paint? Wait, where is it? <laughs> took the wrong one. Where is it? Hello? Hello? There we go. Only one and not like the other colors because I would have loved because we have more freedom with the spray paint, right? Like this one, these round edges, it's so hard to do with floors. Almost can do that. And also this is not aligning because the floor pattern is way bigger than the spray paint pattern. So you can't even make this align somehow, you know, 
that it, you don't see that edge. Also, this looks a little bit brighter than the spray paint, um, but this may just be me. Also, why give us what? What I would like to see is if you give us these floor tiles, then give us also these colors for the floor tiles as well, down, because I personally like this one with the green again more. <laughs> Um, okay, so what I wanted to say is these things that are super colorful, I think his name is Thomas Kincaid. He is an artist and he does this, what I would call kitsch, cottage kitsch kind of paintings. And you may have seen these, you may know what I'm talking about. Maybe you have not heard his name. I think his name is Thomas Kincaid. I hope I, I did, did say this wrong, but they're like puzzles and like, you know, uh, I don't know kitchen sets like table sets and like uh, yeah I, i'm not a big fan of these paintings i know there are in my opinion they're very kitsch but um i think they wanted to do these colors here too so you can basically rebuild the cottages from the thomas kincaid things and i also think that we have this in in one of the paintings here because i've seen that there we go definitely yes okay i'm gonna make this bigger if i can okay and then i'm gonna show you these kinds of pictures you you know them you know them so i think that's the why the colors are so weird um so you can basically rebuild this cottage here which could be also an interesting you know video <laughs> but this is kind of like the, i think the idea that i went with for these things, for these color swatches here. I don't know the, yeah, it's just, it's interesting. It's interesting that they chose that, but I think that is the inspiration behind that. Um, yeah, it's the cottage kitsch, not the cottage, it's definitely kitsch in my opinion, but okay. Um, I think I'm gonna end the thing here because it has been already one hour. <laughs> In 19 minutes so um uh, this is build mode i personally think that this is interesting for build mode i think i've covered everything that you can access here oh yeah right flowers okay there are new flowers okay bush okay let's look at the bushes so we have the cow topiary. Do they come in different color? Again, not. Okay, first of all, I'm of course not a fan of like weird wonky topiaries, but okay. So we have a cow, we have a rabbit and a chicken. Why is there no llama? I think because in base game we already have a llama, which are the four animals that come to this pack. We also have an elephant in base game. We never got elephants. I kind of would like to have a baby elephant. But uh, as we can see, the topiaries from base game are a little bit more rougher. And this one is a little bit more detailed, right? So that's cool. I've honestly, I think, never used these two in any of my builds. Maybe ironically somewhere. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't see me personally putting these somewhere. Um, I think this must have been maybe like a passion project of one of the developers. I don't know who uses these topiaries. Maybe people use topiaries that are shaped like animals. I personally think they are kind of very ugly. Um, what I have to say is I would have liked to have more swatches. We have different greens in the game. This is green grass and, you know... A darker green ivy oh, just, uh, giving us like 18 million flower swatches but only one green what the hell <coughs> sorry sorry guys do we have flowers from cottage living i think not yeah we also don't have any stones yeah that's the only thing we get which is kind of weird that we only get these three things and the rest is just base game I would have assumed, because of the Thomas Kincaid kitsch, that we get weird flowers. But I guess, again, we have already these really weird, you know, 
colors here. I don't know, this is red and yellow, so we need like a reddish, reddish plant so we can... So this is the red one and then they have like a lower yellow one here, so here. And then the big wisteria or something in the back that is like that, I don't know, like that. So yeah, there you go, the Thomas Kincaid garden. <laughs> it's uh, interesting that they didn't give us any more flowers or so except the ivy. I love the ivy. Definitely gonna use that in more builds. The other ones are very cottagey and also very fantasy, which is maybe a little bit more niche for some. I personally think this definitely looks a little bit more like get together. If you have get together, this definitely complements get together in my opinion. Some of these assets that I would call fantasy core is definitely more medieval realm of magic you know we don't have a medieval pack yet but maybe they're working on something like that i'm not sure i hope so i would really love that um yeah again the shutters there are some oversights i have to say with the color swatches minimal so i won't complain about the color swatches what i complain about is some things that are not thought out like the things with the spray paint why do we get the, I think we had the same issue with the um, snowy escape Zen garden sand lines. And here it's the same again. <laughs> Not totally thought through, you know. So either give us the spray paint as well, which is cool because spray paint, in my opinion, is very more versatile, is more creative. Of course, you can't use it on the other floors. I don't know who has flowers on their second floor bedroom, but I mean for maybe a fairy build or something, but I guess that would have been better as an asset for a spray paint, definitely. Um, the thatched roof is nice. If you don't have uh, any other packs, definitely the thatched roof, you can do really nice cottages with it. We have fitting dormers with that. The dormers also fit the style of these windows here. Um, and yeah, I kind of like that a lot. You can really create a nice, cute cottage with that for sure. Could you do a cottage before? In my opinion, with base game, sorry to say yes. Is this something totally new? Mm, if you just have base game, no. You could. Theoretically, I'm going to just use base game. I'm going to show you. Do a cottage. Like that. You know. Uh, and then we use base game windows, which are kind of similar, in my opinion. So you could theoretically say this is my... Here, red and white, by the way. It's the same, right? Like, it's the same basic idea of it. And uh, have like this color theme here. We also have a thatched roof. We just don't have a trim in base game that kind of mi mixes or matches the whole thing. So you kind of have to be creative with that here. But still, you, there's even a chimney that kind of fits, in my opinion, here. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's nothing super new. You could have done this cute cottage kitsch thing even before. And that's, you can, you can just do it better now, if you know what I mean. And this is why for the building objects, I have to say... Because you can actually already do the style, not as good, of course, not as detailed, of course, hence the base game, but you could have done this before. So this is nothing super new, in my opinion, right? Like we have seen all of that. We have seen that the th only thing it brings to base game, which I would say you definitely don't have even that style, is that 
fence here. Don't know if it's so necessary to have like flower stone paths. Um, definitely some assets are super cute, you know, like these things and so on. Uh, it definitely adds more value. If you are super into that cottage core feeling and love to build cottages, also cottages are kind of small. I know people tend to like to play in like smaller houses and whatnot. Um, so uh, that's really cool. I really love the ivy here. That's really cool. Definitely don't have that in base game. But the, the, the over what I have to say the overall style we already have and then we also have get together which is in my opinion has uh, also very good um, building assets um, I can't compare it now because I can't you know, only have base game here but that's a thing that's just my personal taste where I'm like okay this was not so necessary to go with cottage core I know this is like super relevant these days you know the cottage core movement and whatnot um it's and i think that was the whole idea of it they wanted to do that you know this kind of themey new meme kind of aesthetic thinking um i think it's cute it definitely fits the world it fits the whole theme i don't i just want to say that the whole build theme the whole idea behind it was in my opinion unnecessary it was unnecessary I first thought that they're gonna go with like a Pride and Prejudice thing because I got this postcard, right? Like The Sims gave me that postcard and I was like, oh, cool. It's gonna be like a Pride and Prejudice thing, like more things for old classical English manners. But we have that here, so I kind of have to say yes, thank you. They are also all well executed. Like I said, some oversights with these things. The shutter are not separated. Um, why is there not a red brick if we have a red brick chimney? What the hell is happening there? It's it's a good building pack, I guess. I am very personally not involved with the cottage core theme. So I guess I'm not sounding as excited. I think the build assets are okay. And I think it's also more than maybe in other packs. I'm not sure. It's definitely, yeah, I think it has just to do with the thing that I'm not super into that kind of stuff. But okay, I have to say for building assets, this is very thought out. This is quite good. If you are into building, this is cute. This is very cute. Yeah. Okay, let's see what the, the, the buy objects bring us. <laughs> All right, guys, I had a short little break. Welcome back. We do the buying stuff now, the objects that come with the cottage living pack. Um, yeah, did a little break, had some coffee, watched a documentary about King Kong and Godzilla. <laughs> so I'm absolutely prepared for this. Okay, let's go. So I sorted by show all cottage living and we start with a bad. <gasps> That's actually what this is. A, this is a finally a double iron bad. Oh, it comes in white as well. Also have some bedding that is uni, which I like. And we have played, of course, because cottage. Okay. Oh, I love this. And some will come with like a, a bedding with like flowers on it. So uni plate and flowers. Really like this. By the way, this looks so much like the bed I had passed down from my parents to me when I was like, I don't know, like a teenager. Yeah, I have some memories with that kind of. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to get into too much into detail, but hey, I love this because that's like a bad frame, etc. Like from the style that we don't have yet in game, like not even other packs. I think we have a single iron cast bad or whatever uh, for parenthood, I think. So finally we have that and I kind of had, you know. <laughs> I like that. Sometimes it is uni, sometimes it comes with this golden. 
Does this change into silver or something? No. So if you have the black, you can either have a black black or black with gold. Which is, yeah, an interesting detail. Then we have a hay bale. Hay bale? Hay something. Hay bale, hay bale. In three different colors. I love this. Can I sit on it? They can sit on it. It's, it's a couch, I think. Comfort, yeah. That's cool. That's really cool for decoration as well outside, you know, stack them over one another and kind of create like a hay stack or something or like for a stable or something. That could be cool. Oh my God, is this a stool? It is a stool. It is a mush. My, hold on. It's a little mushroom stool. This is so cute. Okay, so hear me out. This is of course nothing that you would like normally have in your bedroom or like living room or whatever. But for builders, you can make this bigger and create a big mushroom. Oh, also for decorating outside. This is so cool for like fantasy builds, Alice in Wonderland. You get it. Like, just put a big caterpillar on it. <laughs> This is amazing. I love that one. That is, I didn't see that coming with the cottage core pack. I don't know, but that's cute. That's cute. Okay. Autumn chair. I'm going to put like a couple of them. So we have stripes. We have solids. Yeah. And we have flowers. Two come with flowers, the rest are solids and stripes. Kind of cute. I mean, definitely not my style, but is there this couch? Does this reflect that? No. Okay, this is kind of like a leather couch, I think. So hence the brown tones and like the sheen, I guess. Very nice. Very nice. I like that. Kind of similar to the ones we have in base game. New chair. Uh, by the way, I love that the pillow has like little ribbons on the back. So, you know, kind of nice detail there. Uh, so does this come in different wooden colors where I would say, yeah, we have these colors. Yes, I think so. Either comes in solid or with polka dots. So that's nice. I really like that. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. That's a really cute little thing. I don't know if we have something. We have so many chairs in the game. But it's cute. I love the little details and ornaments on the legs. Uh, another bar stool. All right, here I have to do something because I'm like, all right, guys, we have something very similar in base game. Um, let me grab that. This one. Yeah, come on, that's. All right, this is kind of like a, like this bar bar stool, like in a pub, I guess. I'm not sure. Like, wouldn't you have like in a British pub something like this or like with a, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's very, very similar. This is old metal from base game. And the one now here in cottage living has like this wooden top. So yeah. It's a bar stool though, right? Yeah, it's, it's a real bar stool. It's not like a chair. I would have loved to have a chair that looks like a bar stool. Sometimes. We still don't have that because all of the chair have like the backs and whatnot. Like I don't see any, you know, that's kind of like, why is that? Because you can only use bar stools in the game at like higher counters or like the, the, the table counterpart that are like higher. However, I would love to have just a stool as a chair. So because, you know, armchair stools, chair, bar stools are all different heights in the game. And therefore don't match the different 
heights of like tables, counters, and whatnot, and I hate that. <laughs> I absolutely hate that in game. Uh, but okay, let's let's continue here, I guess. Fast door. Then we have a bench. I'm gonna put that here. Oh, we have, oh, we have apparently a lot of different colors here. Okay, let's see. Dark brown, white, blue. That matches the base game window colors as well and the ones in Cottage Living, I see. The red one is not with white though, so it's not necessarily the same black and white white. Where's the difference here? Ooh, minimal difference here. <sighs> Bluish, white, off-white, I guess. But like from afar, yeah, only if you put them next to each other. Okay. Kind of weird that they went in these swatches. Oh, sorry. Kind of want to keep them here for the review. Hmm. So interesting how these are a little bit more different, but okay. Okay, kitchen. This is gonna be interesting. I think I need a wall, real quick. Um, <laughs> hold on. Let me get that here. Okay. All right, kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. This is the end piece. We grab all of the things. Okay, it's another country kitchen. If you didn't have enough of that from the country kitchen kit, you can now have that again. <laughs> I think we have to create a little corner here. Maybe we need more of them because of maybe a all right a sink or something. All right, let's look at the swatches. So this is the green with the. So you can basically yeah, it's kind of like you know you have seen all the color swatches. There's a black black version which is nice. I'm always for that and a white white version as well. Which is, I love that. I love the white whites, the black blacks, you know. Um, I'm more of a, yeah, that's a safe call. Is it like used or something? Oh yeah, they are used a little bit. It's t a tiny kind of difference, right? You can see there are some, you know, it's it looks a little bit more used and lived in and kind of roughed up, I guess. Um, you can see that better on on these things here in like darker colors if you zoom in all the like all at once <coughs> sorry all right and that's the um the kitchen island yeah exactly okay um Like that, need an end table, this, 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 oh, but, uh, all right, all right, um, yeah, I like it, they all match a Apparently, I think I don't see any swatches where I'm like, why, why do we have that swatch here? Which happened in the Sims games, right? Like we got like a whole kitchen set and then some swatches were the same ones for the counters, the kitchen island counters, which is absolutely frustrating. Okay, so what we have here is... Is that all? Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so 
I guess they do that because you can then use it as a bar if there is a bar to have this clean side here for the counters. I always think it's super unusual to have it like that because look at this drawer. You have to extend that drawer way longer <laughs> to get to your stuff. Do you know what I mean? Here it makes sense, right? It's just a type of cloth over it. But yeah, why is that like, why aren't the drawers and like the, the little things that you would access on that side of the, of the things again? It doesn't make it, no, it's, I just can assume that this is because of like, so you can have like a bar kind of thing in front, but wouldn't that be, no, if you would have a bar and want to put a bar stool. Yeah, it would be here. So if you would build a pop or something, I mean, that's even more awful. It's on the wrong side. Yeah, it's on the wrong side again. We have that issue many times. And I don't know why we, I think they fixed it in one of the kitchens, but I can't remember which one. But yeah, Sims team, just imagine you are, you, you want to have a kitchen island. Uh, is it the idea that they gonna put it like all around and then you couldn't access? I don't know. It's just weird. Maybe they give us like one counter like this and then the other way around to like another object. Mirrored, so to speak. I, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's awful. All right, here we go. Kitchen cabinets. Gonna use a uh, different colors if possible oh this one comes with a cloth uh, yellow okay all of a sudden we have yellow did we have yellow before kind of have to look that up black okay this one comes with cloth as well then we have an end piece kind of thing Um, kind of want to look up if we have yellow in here. Oh, we have yellow. Okay, we don't have yellow fences and like the whole wooden thing that we came that came with that. Didn't have yellow, but okay, now we have yellow. So cute. Lots of little objects here, so you don't have to decorate as much. You know, I don't know if that has any slots to put stuff in. I'm just gonna assume that this is not the case. It's not like the you know snowy escape. Uh, all right, this is um. Because we, is this? Oh yeah, it is a dining table. Oh, it is. Is that a dining table? Is what is that? Oh, is that a bar stool kind of situation going on here? Yeah. Okay, so this is a higher table for the bar stools, and it's also a set. That's cool. It's kind of like pub, I guess. Is that what it's intended for? for a pub or something. So I really like that. I really like that. I like that table as well. Now again, we have that issue that if I like this table and I want to have chairs on that, you can't have chairs because um, yeah, chairs won't snap to that table, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Sims can't shit on yeah, the, 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 the whole bar stool chair on sale, different heights. It's sort of the, that's something they definitely have to fix or like consider in Sims 5 or something like a seating option. <clears throat> <clears throat> like it's all seating, but then different heights that I can select the different heights. Like we can like with, uh, with uh, the counters maybe or something. I don't know. All right. This is um, a hallway table. Okay. Yeah. Cute. I like that swatch, number one. Really nice, you can, you know, put it like, maybe that's the intention of it. So you can put it now on that side. And I have like a different story, I don't know. You know, it matches the kitchen, definitely. Is there a yellow swatch? No, this one doesn't come in the same swatches for the kitchen. So maybe it wasn't the kitchen set that inspired this or I don't know. The single cloth table also. Oh, that one comes in different colors. So the wooden colors and then, okay, we have the 
patterns we have seen on the isn't that even the same oh my god you can have like this totally matching and it's all the same textures you <laughs> but okay yeah if if that's your thing that's what you can do with that pack and i think we is that the same no that's not the same pattern that's also not the same pattern. but it can be quite patterned with lots of different floral patterns yay i guess if you like floral patterns that's not you know bad oh here we have the <laughs> that one with the with the hair on it and the little yeah that one here that 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 background okay so <laughs> could it matches the wallpaper that with the pack okay okay then end table yeah huge again i guess kind of looks huge yeah all right let's see the colors of that one Brown and red. Here it's red and white. Here it is red and brown. Okay, this is a yeah. That should have mm, yeah. See the red with brown. Yeah, here. Okay, so they kind of. Uh, why is not everything like you know the same swatch? So like they go with red and white and so on. So you could at least mix it with the kitchen and with the with the fences and whatever. I don't know. Uh, but it's well done, kind of, I think. Is it so run down looking? No, that kind of is a new one, if you know what I mean. Like, it doesn't use look as used as the kitchen cabinets, for example. All right, cabinets for days, another cabinet. I guess your sims can put stuff there. So this definitely, I'm sorry, but this has to match the... I don't know what's happening here. Go there. Yeah. This has to match the kitchen, sorry, but... Okay, no yellow. This matches that set again. I don't get it. I don't get it. Wouldn't you have this in your kitchen? Guess you can match the wooden, you know, color on top. So it would be matching, but still, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is cute. Forage is the light bench. Can I do something with that if you're going for... Just, just a decoration and you can put stuff on it <gasps> oh my god that's so cute this goes into the whole fantasy medieval -y looking stuff as well oh i love this how does it look if i put two next to each other oh it's kind of like a little market stall as well right black and some oh wow this is ve like very used then oh this is cute oh look at this oh i love this okay so some are like newish and some are like old schooly you know like used this used cherry chic look i think i like this the most very nice. I love that one. Okay, who done it? Shelf. More shelves with stuff on it. Hmm. What do we have? Oh, it definitely changes lots of colors. Okay. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, and then you can put like stuff on it. Cool. Another shelf. I can also see this because of the big ornament over a window. Hold on, let me try that out. Give me a window. What is that, two? There you go. Oh no, it's just one. <laughs> okay, give me a smaller window, please. Uh, I guess this one then. All right, like that. Kind of looks cute over a window, definitely. What do we have? Yeah, same swatches. Oh, this one, this red comes with black now? 
so sometimes red comes with pink, sometimes red comes with wooden color, sometimes red comes with white. Here it comes with a different wooden color than this corner piece. Yeah. <laughs> the color swatches are not matching, matching. I think some people have like color OCD in this game. I mean, I think I could make it work. It wouldn't, you know, bother me that much. But still, I mean. All right, then we have a new bathroom set, I guess. So we have a wall sink, wall mounted sink kind of situation, which is very cute. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We definitely had something like this as well when I was a kid. Very cute. I like it. I like it. Let's see if the bath tub, like the bathroom set, at least use the black one. We're gonna use the blue, and we're gonna use brown. All right. Just to see if that's matching up. All right. On the back, does that fit the? Oh yeah, it fits the kitchen. I think that should is supposed to be a kitchen sink. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. Okay, yeah, okay. This is not the bathroom set, so this we can put it in the bathroom, of course. But this is definitely the kitchen sink. I get it, I get it, I get it. I'm, I totally understand. All right. Different breaths and whatnot. And you can put it on the other side of your counters. Nice. All right. Kind of has to match that though. <laughs> Why? Okay, here it matches. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. That's very cute. That's very cute. And it changes also the inside of the sink. Okay, that's a good thing, I guess. Where were we? Sink, bathtub. Uh, we had green somewhere, we had blue, we had black, and a brown, that one. <gasps> oh, it comes in different. Ah, you know. No. Oh, this is so cute. Not as cute as a toadstool stool. But yeah. Why not? I like that. That's cool. Definitely cool, yeah. And then we have the Make It Sue Cross Stitch Kit. I think this is gonna be the new skill, which is cross stitching. Shout out to Sim Guru Popcorn here. I think she was behind this. <laughs> Anyways, I think this is gonna work like the nifty knitting thing. So you need that object to start cross stitching, I guess. This is just an, assume, just an assumption. But here you go. It's like a wooden. Thing and then, then like when you have your sim selected you can click on it and you know start cross stitching whatever I don't know but it's cute it has like you know this rundown but there's also this modern -y kind of style so you can also put it into your modern home for those who really want to do cross stitching in their modern house or whatever so that there's no real restrictions kind of love that it has oh the white swatch is kind of the rundown version and the black one as well <laughs> Yeah, maybe more swatches for that if that is it now the only object for the cross stitch I don't know what it is with the sims team But it was the same with the paranormal stuff pack where the seance table came in so less swatches than the actual Eating table and whatnot. So um, if you have the skill objects and it's the only one You know that like skill objects get placed more in the sims right and played with more because you know skills and stuff <laughs> gameplay um, maybe give us the same object without the flowers and then like in a modern-y kind of so the cross stitching also matches like a very modern house or something like that um, and definitely some color like I would 
lost for them to consider these things if like something is like a totally new add-on of this build and buy mode why don't you know that that don't do that keep that in mind developers all right there we go it's a bar yeah this is definitely some of the you know like a pub bar comes with like signs and all of that so if you build like a pub or a tavern or whatever it looks still not very medieval because of these things here but i mean i would you know let that through as like a medieval maybe thing in my opinion they could have done it a little bit more run down -y, which maybe they have No, they haven't. Does this at least match the counters? Does it match? Yeah, okay, okay, it matches the these counters kinda, I think. I don't know why this is like so round, like so different in color. It doesn't really match the counters to be honest. <laughs> Ah, because it has to be like this now. See, Sims team, you're doing it wrong. Now the things are like pointing outside. Why are they? Okay, I, I wanna. Okay, I think we so many Simmers have already talked about this that this is an issue with the kitchens. I kind of am okayish with the kitchens. I don't place that many like kitchen islands somewhere else than maybe in a bar in a bar i have usually that problem that the things don't match or don't make sense you wouldn't have like a drawer and whatnot like in a bar um i think this is like supposed to be like a standalone kind of thing uh yeah it's yeah kind of why is that even happening this is just a brain fart moment i guess right this so many people have probably looked over that and looked at these objects and whatnot and no one am i the only one who is bugged by this please write that in the comments am i crazy this doesn't make any sense to have the drawer on this side and it also doesn't make sense for a bar because you can only put the bar stone on that side and sit here it's just not it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. It would have tested tap 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 tap. I no. It's a it's a okay picnic basket. Okay, this is like uh, featured in the trailer. Uh, it's gameplay, and it definitely is gameplay that has to do with food and food preparing. So I'm like ew, not interested at all. But it's a cute little clutter item. So I definitely gonna you just imagine you can like you can do like a little baby crib out of this maybe modders modders if there isn't a baby crib like here with like this basket kind of thing baby crib come on baby crib that's like that's that's the baby crib and a more modern -y picnic basket yeah there we go all right yeah cute items you know for me as a builder and kind of think that it's a cute little decorational item. <laughs> Like in my can I, that I can put in my kitchen, so I'm gonna put it into my little tiny quite cottage kitchen. Oh, nice! All right, there we go. Um, Hanford wedding arch. No. Oh. <gasps> and it comes in my. <laughs> I love these. Okay, I love wedding arches because Sims can walk under them and hence you can use them as structural pieces everywhere because they don't obstruct your Sims. I love that about them. And this one, oh, this one is really cool and it comes apparently in lots of swatches. Also, the back looks cool. Oh my god, yes, please. I mean, I'm not a fan of like the weddings in game and whatnot. It changes the wooden part of it. Oh my god, that's even a red one. That looks so fairy tale tale y. Ah, so cool. 
And why don't we have that different colors of leaves here on this ivy? Explain. I don't understand. Why is it Arkansas? Like, what is that? Why is that? I'm confusion. And this is so cool. <laughs> All right, this definitely sparks joy for me. I don't know why. Not that I'm gonna, maybe I do a wedding menu. I'm not even sure, but I, that is definitely an object that I kind of really appreciate. <laughs> and maybe for gameplays as well, but this wedding arch is really cool. Like a foresty wedding, you know, with like elves and stuff. I don't know. Okay, next up is the Crumple Bottoms Garden Shop. And the other one is the Gold Bloom's Grocery Shop. Yeah, you can b now go. Oh, okay. Both don't have any swatches. Okay. So it's a shop. I don't know if you can place them. This garden market shop is blocked by all the green thumb. So I think you can go inside and like sell stuff. It's like the sell selling stalls that we have from different other packs as well. And this is a garden supply shop, maybe seeds or something. And this is uh, groceries, which you can now buy and like only cook with these groceries um i think there's like this whole self-sustaining stuff is that here simple living yeah this lot requires ingredients to cook all recipes cooking with ingredients just makes food taste better so basically you have to grow your own groceries or get your own uh, groceries for this to work so you don't can go to the like fridge and Say, hey, I want to cook something and it magically appeared in the fridge somehow. All right, then we have the garden patches. Different colors. I appreciate that. I'm just going to assume they have to do with the different ground colors we have in the game. And here we do the same. All right. And then of course some um, one for that. Um, I kind of stack them over one another. Sorry for that. Is that the one? Yeah. Um, I kind of like that, that one is like bare and one is like already with like a, a indent, I guess, mounted in and this is the normal one. Um, so I like that and I think they use it now for farming. So you can like uh, have, it's kind of like a planter. It's kind of like a planter, just on the ground. Looks definitely better like that. We tiny, we, we used, so far I always used the uh, spray paint for that. Let's see if we have the different colors. Oh. <laughs> Oops, kind of big. So we have that here. Uh, do we have more? Yeah, we have more ground colors. Kind of match this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and then that 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 is that one. Yeah, so we have the, the that's good that they did that. <laughs> oh, that's gray. There, there we go. Okay. Uh, Potter's pit. I don't know. Or maybe that. That's it. Okay. But yeah, you can like kind of make it match and kind of do like an interesting design as well. That's very good. Why did that not happen with the primrose patch or whatever that is? that uh, there it worked so whoever did this uh, i like that you did a good job <laughs> all right next one chicken cube oh yeah so with this pack i guess this is the most selling point of this i'm just gonna place these twos down actually i'm gonna place all of these down here and then we're gonna talk about animals in this game so oh this is locked okay BB dot ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement, I guess is the name. Yeah, now it's unlocked. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So this is a chicken coo. You can have, I think up to, I don't know, eight chickens or something. They are only bound to this object. So your sim can go up there, purchase, purchase like oh, up to eight. Yeah, that even says um, eight chickens that live in there, like a chick, a rooster. I think you can also buy chickens, chicks. Yeah. Um, uh, and if you have a rooster and a hen, for example, they can lay eggs and fertilize, uh, fertilize eggs. Uh, I like that it comes in different swatches because it's the only object that is for the chickens. 
they are very colorful ones this is kind of more medieval -y maybe i mean sorry to say but the freaking chickens in this game have a better house than i have in real life what the fuck but okay looks very cute it's a little bit big it definitely doesn't fit the whole yeah i think the medieval chickens i think i would have loved to have a run down one or maybe one with like a thatched roof i don't see one with the thatched roof here so that's you know it's again it's like one of the most selling pointy kind of uh, objects i guess because people want to have their chickens if you want to have chickens you need that object so that one has always been placed and kind of has to match of course your house and stuff but this way around you have to match your house to the chicken coop so it all matches if it makes sense what i'm trying to say i hate that i really would have loved to have at least the thatched roof version or whatever this seems to be the only chicken coop and this is also my next thing you can have an animal shed and in the animal shed you can have up to one cow or one llama so only one cow, only one llama. If you want to have more, you have to place more of these animal sheds that also come in different color swatches. I'm going to do that here. So I'm going to look a little bit more run down. I mean, it is okay. You can put it like on a medieval kind of flot, you know, kind of halfway makes sense. But the color swatches are, you know, nice. I just personally would have assumed you're gonna give us at least one. For example, this shed here is always brick. Doesn't come with the thatched roof either. This is always wood and doesn't come with the thatched roof. Just, you know, mix it up. You, you kind of said that this is like the, the, you know, we have that as like a roof topping. We have the thatched roof, roof topping kind of so why not you know that is again maybe i want too much but like this is not matched and uh, yeah okay so this is the one that you need for the tree like the rabbit trees which i like definitely gonna use that for a build Ah, this is so cute. So uh, I think you can collect the rabbits or befriend the rabbits and then if you have befriended them You can put them in here or whatever. I don't know. It's gameplay and then you have this tree stump for the For the birds which also has three swatches so. All right. Cute that definitely changes more because of the different yeah cute i guess i think you have to see them action i'm gonna assume lots of other simmers are going to do like the rabbit and bird focused stuff um i think you can like like with the uh, i don't know if you can you know stack them with animals and just go in there because these are like wild animals um maybe with debug or some ha uh, not hacks but cheats you can fill them up and then you have like all these animals floating around and also by the way the shed has quite a big footprint that's for the counter llama and i think that's the footprint where they walk right like they never will never walk around the whole lot i think they will stay in this footprint Whereas the chickens will definitely walk all over the place if you don't put a fence around. Which is, I think, very cool. I would have loved to have that for the cow as well. Just gives you more, you know, kind of fun for building or something. Uh, and the same is with rabbits, I think, and the birds, I don't know. I think they are quite stationary. S stationary? No, stationary. <laughs> Static <laughs> at the same place. Um, I like them as objects. I hope I can use them somehow by making them bigger and smaller and kind of do like a crazy build with that. Uh, so that's cute, I guess, already as an object, really, really cute. And now that it also has like some gameplay aspects of it, that's cute as well. I think maybe some would have liked to have a rabbit cage or I don't know, maybe a pillow nest kind of thing where you can put it in. I don't know or like a little house i don't know same with the birds maybe i don't know so these are the things we already looked at uh, then we have some a pitcher with flowers oh it's a vase with flowers kind of very similar to the one that hey harry did is it hey harry but yeah some of the um 
CC stuff we got unlocked. Oh, that's a blank one. Cool. And we have a fiddly fake. The uh, Instagram pinup girl of every houseplant uh, through the last two years, I guess. Next to the pampas grass that they gave us with the home decor thing. Now we have the fiddly fig. That's a real plant. <laughs> Guys, if you have one and it looks like that, that healthy. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm not a fan of the fiddly fig in real life. But cute to have more plants. I'm a huge plant nerd nowadays. Thank you, pandemic. <laughs> but yeah, cute. It's a little small. Like this is the fiddly fig that everyone starts with. But what they actually want to have is like something like this. Because it's a tree, actually, you know. So, yeah, maybe I will move that up. Kind of like that. Like that it's like in a little basket as well. So that's cute. Yeah. All right, trolley full of triffids. Oh, you can put that there next to your little garden gnome frumple bottom thing. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. Oh cute all right like the colors of the flowers i mean okay i don't care anymore but this is a very cute thing we have something similar i think it get together if i'm not mistaken but yeah that's a very cute object well done here again very sweet very cute very yeah that's definitely you can like just place a bunch of them Every build looks better already and <laughs> like super cluttered. All right, here's the picture that we have been talking about, the Thomas Kincaid, but there are more swatches to it. Um, it is quite small, so we're gonna do that here, I guess. And have a little look. All right. All right, so we have these, we have two of these, and we have two of these, but three of these. No one, no, oh no, we have three of these as well, but only two of these. Yeah, okay, only two of these. Don't know why these only get two frame colors. <laughs> but yeah, one is apparently a fox, a chicken, a rabbit, a llama, and a rooster, and some birds having tea together and some crumpets and um, a still life and one of these horrendous cottage core kitsch Thomas Kincaid paintings I guess it's just yeah I would never ever hang that in my own house but you know there are people that like it otherwise that wouldn't have sold anyway so here we have that um, if nice, I guess. I don't know. Okay, next one is a banner, poster, something like that. Uh, let's see. That one just changes the color and the font a little bit. All right, pink. Okay. Yeah, they change a little bit. <sighs> there are like different changes to it, but it's, you know, okay. Like two different sets and then different colors and so on. It's okay. Uh, I think it's like for the festivals, maybe like a poster for that. Oh, we have a new curtain. How many swatches? Oh yeah, okay. I like that, that's kind of cute. Kind of matches the whole base game as well. Yeah, definitely base game. Why do I know this? Because let's go into base game and curtains and then I'm gonna show you, I think what they thought about this. So we have, you know, with the stripes, see what I'm doing? That's, uh, is that the second color swatch? Come on game. But at least the stripes, that's like something they kind of try to imitate again. Okay. 
Um, yeah. Cute. Where are we? Here we go. Awning we have, awning we have. There we go. This is a sign from Gob. <laughs> the puns. All right. You know, you can kind of do really nice market styles here. With a little fox that reads a book. Come on now. Does it change now? Okay. Ah, uh, a chicken and a way to cut <laughs> chicken. A little rabbit pouring tea. For the bakery, for groceries, for the tavern. Yeah, I really like that. I really like that. Very cute. Very cute. Also a little barrel in the middle, by the way. <laughs> it's cute. All right, next up is the Hanford and Bagley community information sign. All right. I think in a, you get like little tasks. And I don't know if you place this on your own lot, if that makes any sense. But I like it as a con, like a little cluttered decorational item, especially since they have so many cute little things on it. Who has seen my rabbit? <laughs> Take a number. Kind of cute. This is not working. There we go. A llama love story or whatever. Is that counseling? Couple counseling? Are they fighting? What's happening here? <laughs> Crocheting. No, Chris touching. Uh, Chris cross cross stitching. Chris touching. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't even know what it's called in German. I guess. I think about it. Okay. A pole. And I think it comes with the banner too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, because you get new festivals with that, um, you know, you have the, the poles to match the thing, different colors. Kind of like that. I think do you that pole, you know, it could be interesting to see what's coming up with that. Yeah, these are, I think, the different festivals, you know, best produce, best animal or whatever, um, whatever. I think you will, can also see that. I don't know if you would, this is like something that I don't know if people want to use in builds. Like, why is this in builds by and not in debug? Because people want to build like something like a festival of themselves, definitely will go into debug. Oh, maybe for the console players because they can't access debug. I'm not sure. All right. Oh yeah, this is the pun I hated the most, the hairstylist. By the way, if some Germans are watching, I want to suggest, I hope that it's translated into German with something Kaminchen. Kaminchen. Okay, you get it. You get it. You get it. Kom, kom, rabbit. I don't know. Cute. It's these tiny different things of knickknack that you can put outside in front of your stall and whatnot. I'm definitely going to try that out. Another sign. Oh my god, it has a llama. <gasps> it has a llama on the back. It's about, oh my god. <clears throat> so that only uses, uh, it's kind of more versatile, I guess. So it doesn't like really tell you it's a tavern or whatever. But the llama. The llama. <laughs> That's so cute. I don't know if you necessarily would need that. That we discussed in the pond tool. There is your tough guy bar gnome sign. Kind of get like SpongeBob vibes here with a tough guy tavern. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, different colors. I like that. Oh, damn, I always click on the wrong things. I like that. I like that. Who knew phone, phone booth? Is it a phone though? Or is it just decoration? Can your sims get in there and woohoo? Woohoo, Dr. Woohoo. Ah, there's a blue one. Ah, oh, it's not really like the police TARDIS kind of situation though. But it's cute. Do they even have, I only know the red ones to be honest. Do they have green ones? Probably. 
Very cute. I know that lots of people will be super stoked about this. Then we have a little basket. Again, just a decorational item. Lots of decorational items in this one. Uh, come on. Green. Nice! I mean, and then you could theoretically like hide your gnome in there. All right, and we have a little rabbit. All right. And it changes like not that much the color of the rabbit, but the, oh, it changes also the color of the rabbit. Okay, a little bit, but also the flower and like the little shawl it has, whatever. Then we have a picture. Oop. Another clutter item that you can place. All right, let's see. Oh, we also have like without anything on it, which is better in my opinion, because I don't always want to have everything with flowers. This is quite cute, you know, like this double color situation, color blocking. I was fearing that everything is going to be like cutesy, bootsy cottage. So I kind of appreciate that this is, uh, you know, not always the case. More stuff. This is with a like cutesy bootsy again. <laughs> Let's see, it's jars with things on it. Yeah, it's very like this cottage country kitchen. Okay, this one is definitely cool and white and the brown. And then we have that in different colors. Yeah, uni colors are definitely more up my thing. But there are, of course, some with like the, you know, the little fruits on it or whatnot. Okay. Here's the note that we have seen on the postcard I used for a promo. Kind of, someone pointed out it's more like a Nordic gnome. Cute. I mean, it's a gnome. <laughs> Team gnome will go home. All right. A kettle, I think. Teapot, yeah. I mean, it's a British thing. They had to include something tea related, I guess, right? Um, I'm a coffee drinker, so I'm not that into tea. So I'm sorry if I... Yeah, I'm not super excited, but yeah, it comes in different spots. It fits the picture and these things here, I guess. All right, a rug. Okay, we're just gonna have a little look at this. So we have the one with the matching, by the way, this thing again. So it can have like a small, enormous, horrible thing in the middle of the room have the matching wallpaper to that and the matching cloth on the table and the matching whatever <laughs> all with these hairs on it oh and also of course horrible i mean yeah roses and stuff oh here's something that i really like okay this is a fireplace two two different ones Oh, I like this one. This is a little bit more medieval-y, I guess. Very nice. That one is one of my faves. Definitely favorite objects here. I hope we can put stuff on here. Can we? We can put stuff up there. So like something that is small. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> cool. Okay. That's really cool. <clears throat> Here's the same. Yeah. All right, done. I ran out of money again. Oh no. Let me look at the swatches of that one. Doop. Okay, okay, okay. Doesn't really match the bricks outside and stuff, so I'm kind of confusion. Also doesn't have the red brick of the chimney. What's happening? Why? Reefs for the walls. How are the swatches here? It's gonna have like a selection. 
Oh. Okay, so the flowers stay blue and then the wreath just changes color. Kind of matches, I think, the that partially. I don't know. Some paintings. We had something like that in Get Together as well. I think this is a theme that I'm going to say a lot. We had that in Get Together as well. Oops. But yeah. Oh, it also changes the pictures on it. That's good. Is that a... <laughs> Why is she so angry? Because his drink is empty? His glass is empty. I need more. Yeah, I love that. Also love... You know, sometimes it's with the hair. We have the rooster and sometimes there's like a little cow here. So yeah, it's kind of cute and like kind of nice if you just want to place something and it's like directly cluttered. Then we have a vent. Is that a vent? Yeah. A butterfly vent. Cute. I like the double colored one, so I don't know why they... I think I want to use that as like a big ornament somewhere just because I can and then place something over it but yeah that's just my idea about this Finchwick wall pennants again I don't know if we needed that apparently oh there's oh uh okay i don't really know what to do with them but if you would build maybe a medieval market stall <laughs> for the different groceries or whatever then you have different colorful ones okay royal or whatever mayor stuff a chicken mm, yeah i don't know for what you are using this so this is the ivy we have looked at the wisteria we have looked at a basket a basket again i think this is cute for outside and also for the interior <gasps> it changes the pillows nah ah oh, this is cute oh, a little pumpkin on it a little pug. Oh, no lionfish though. Major oversight though. Something we co Germans call a Römertopf. What is it? Merlinforge? Yeah, I don't know what. Cast Ivan? Casserole thing? I'm not sure what it's called in English. Yeah, these heavy things that usually you have but they're on top of your very highest kitchen cabinet or something and you only use that once in a year this is the gdr version <laughs> you definitely had one of these oh my god okay kind of appreciate that one <laughs> that color theme thank you for that okay another freaking statue of a hen in a nest basket What is that? Is it supposed to be something that I can put on a centerpiece? Okay, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's okay. You can have different chickens. Yeah, okay. We have that in base game. So it's something similar where like, like a hen is sitting in a nest or something. There is our tea set. Okay, I get it. So you can have a tea set set or you can have that on your stove or like both. Cute. I'm just gonna assume these are the same. Yeah, oh, this is nice for storytelling though. So once they're there and then you put it over or whatever. Kind of like that. Oh, stump with the lantern on. Lots of decorational objects. Cute. 
Nice. Do they glow in the dark? Yeah, they make light even. Good. All right, wall ceiling lamp. Um, I have to place that, unfortunately, in here. Uh, it's very high hanging. All right. I'm just going to assume, yeah, it's a typical. What's that? Oh, that's a rundown version. Nice. All right. Is that the same then here? Also, okay, so these don't come in like this yellowy golden and whatnot that we already have been introduced to with like other packs. So this also is a little bit more toned down. Lantern. I'm just going to assume this is off the grid. No, it's no, it consumes power. Okay. It's not a lantern lantern. It's a real lamp. Ceiling lamp. Okay. How do we see that? Functional off the grid. Yeah. Okay. More ceiling lamps. Do we have the same here? Yeah. With a little bit more toned down versions. Nice. Not a big fan of that style, but I know. Oh, okay. Oh, they gave us different heights. Oh, that's cool. So you can have like this whole mobile kind of thing. I love that. And same here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is good. This is very good because usually the Sims team forgets about the different heights and I'm always like, why do I live in a loft and my ceiling lamp is so high up? Who hung that one? So finally, <laughs> oh, okay. At least that they did. Good. Ah, maybe you can do like a funky chandelier with that lamp. And then like put one here and here. Kind of like these horrendous chandeliers. <laughs> All right, wall mounted. Very cutesy bootsy again. Kind of has this Tiffany style as well, but it's like British. So not Tiffany's, but you get, you, you get it. Oh, I like this one. It's a lantern. But for the wall. Unfortunately, it's not off the grid. Yeah. Because there's not a... I would have loved... Do we have something like that? With like a candle in it? Hmm. All right. Next one. That is off the grid. So I like that. Ah, oh, this team... When I mean off the grid, I thought, okay, we are gonna have an understanding. There's a candle in there, but this is like this led light strings, right? Like I've seen that. That's like a thing, right? I understand their battery. They run on batteries. I just assumed that off the grid means there are fireflies in it <laughs> or something that is not, so I can use it in medieval builds, but yeah, again, it's cute though. It's cute. It's definitely it's very, very cute. Very cute. I'm not gonna complain. Another one. Oh, that's for the tavern. And that definitely has a candle. It's also off the grid. Okay, that's good. And there are also different things that can, you know, as writing or rooster. Nice. An exterior lamp for your outer. Let's see, lots of irony kind of things. I would have loved that this comes in a, that especially this one comes in a round down version, like we see here with that, with these lanterns. Okay, you can't have everything, I guess. But yeah, cute. This one is one of my favorite thought out stuff because it's a typewriter, but it's actually also a, uh, you know, a computer. It's a, it's a, computer typewriter you know it has a mouse but it looks like a typewriter that one is very smart because now i can at least pretend to you know play something in the 18th century 19th century i don't know when the typewriter got invented you know um it is a computer so there's like not a typewriting skill and like stuff like that so yeah that's cool is this a wall mounted thing oh yeah it is 
Oh, let's let's look at the swatches from the typewriter first. Hold on. Where are you? Here you are, baby. Okay. So yeah, the the wooden swatch. It's also pink one. Cute. Aww. Then we have a wall-mounted clock. Oh, wow, with lots of swatches. Okay. Oh, nice. Now it's getting interesting. Ah. Oh. Yeah, that mean cuckoo clock confirmed, I guess. <laughs> I would love to have a cuckoo clock in the, in the game. Kind of would have suited that whole cottage core thing. Is cottage core only British cottages? Or, you know, is that not allowed to be like an Austrian Swiss, Swiss cottage? You know, there are cottages all around the world, but yeah. <laughs> Major oversight there. Okay, then we have the smag fridge. And we have something that I call the bestest fridge. Okay, let's let's put them next to each other. So the smag comes in the colors of the you know the pastelli colors, it also comes kinda, not really the real smag. Does anyone know what a smag fridge is? Or smag appliances? This overpriced, not so good, engineered, and very oft have to repair appliances. So I don't get why they are so expensive because honestly, guys, if you think about getting a smack, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna save you the cost and money. Don't get one. <sighs> yeah, and I hope I don't get sued that I say this, but I'm not a fan of them. Everyone I know who got them had, had you know, they just break down so, so often. And yeah, the quality of the things, it's, you just pay for the design. But I mean, then you can pay for it like every half year. Congratulations for your vanity about kitchen appliances. All right. And that one is really cool because medieval builds. I like before we had all this with the produce and stuff, you had to have a fridge to you know, get your, get food into your Sims. Now you don't really need that, right? Like they, they can eat the fruits and like prepare them and whatnot. But like before we always needed the fridge and I was always like, you can't really build medieval and like nice because it's, you always need that fridge and stuff and it looks also shitty. But this one looks really cool and it kind of could be integrated into the, next to the cupboard. So it doesn't look as weird. Look at that, yeah. Definitely looks cool next to each other. You know, kind of fits. So, and then we have also a stove, but like a whole thing, not like, oh, and the, and the thing to put over the stove. That's okay. That's, that's definitely cool. I did not see that. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Maybe you can make this bigger and use like as some sort of roofing part or awning. So that's cool. You know, misuse them. Again, a very uh, old schooly looking one. Cute. I love the very weird colored ones. But yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. Very cute. Very cute. Nice in execution. We have a book case thingy. <laughs> I think your Sims can also use it as a bookcase, right? Like they, they added that to gameplay. So that's cute. With little bunnies. Aww. And a vanity. Unmagical mirror and dresser combo. Is that for like 
Is that a vanity now? What is that? Oh yeah, you just put it on, okay. So you can't really use it as a vanity. That's still just vintage glamour. But okay, it matches these things and you can put them like next to each other and whatnot and like do, do stuff so it matches or whatever, okay. The big question here is, is Cottage Living a good builder pack? First of all, I have to say the whole theming is nothing new. You could have done, like I said, the cottages and so on before, just with base game. It was possible to build a cottage core cottage before this, right? I think this pack has been more oriented for gameplay, hence the animals. I think the animals will be, let's just be honest, will be the selling point, right? The whole thing is set up like a, you know, a small little self-sustaining cottage with like a tiny, not like industrial farm, but like self-sustaining kind of thing. Think Stardew Valley or something. It, this is definitely, I will call it the Stardew Valley pack anyways. Um, and I think like people will buy it, buy it because of the llama, the cows, the, the bunnies and whatnot. Like, and, and, and of course the whole cottage core appeal, which is kind of very, but it was for a builder. I have to say it was of course possible before to build a cottage. Was it hard to do? No, cottages are not hard to do with base game and whatnot. Are they not as good looking as with maybe these objects? Of course they are shittier looking. <laughs> I mean, these objects are, you know, after years of, you know, the deaths, it's definitely more detailed. You get more stuff that fits definitely more into the niche British cottage countryside. Um, very, very uh, cute little objects, way more higher detail on that. Uh, it's nice that you have like the kitchen, the sleeping area and like the bathroom area all like, you know, that that's all done. So you can really like with just that in base game, create your own family home just with that whole new thing. But I mean, that's the thing they kind of look into for when doing the expansion packs that it, that is possible. Um, I just have to say that this is not like jungle adventure where you get like ruined stuff that you don't have with base game you know like uh these big stone arches or whatnot or with story escape like this very asian japanese stuff that's not that was not possible with base game before the cottages was possible with base game before hence <clears throat> for builders if you're like thinking about any getting any pack um, that's just a minus point in itself because it's a theme that we already have and we could already build. I'm sorry, not as good, of course, with the as if with these items, but um, yeah, it, it's definitely if you are into more fantasy niche things, you get a couple of them, right? Like there's this really funky, cool door, and like this glass thing, and you know, you. So I'm I'm personally interested into building something more fantasy, fairy cottage kind of thing with these items than with a normal cottage core thing. That's just my personal style. As in if you want to know if you have if there are like other packs that would complement this, definitely Realm of Magic because of the whole, you know, um magical fantasy core kind of objects it's also english and like realm of magic was also like this kind of hidden harry pottery harry potter-esque kind of you know uh pack so that definitely is a thing i personally would say as an expansion pack get together get together and this together is gonna be very complimenting I still have to look, by the way, Get Together is my favorite pack of all time. Um, even though I did the build for Eco Lifestyle, I have to say Get Together is my favorite pack because I just love the world that comes with it. I haven't played with this enough 
to say, wow, this is like, you don't need get together anymore. So I can't really say, but get together is definitely a very, very good pack in my opinion. And lots of simmers say that not because of just the world. It's just a general, very good pack. This is definitely lots of get together stuff. Lots of this stuff we already have seen in base game. We have seen it in definitely get together, you know, um, so definitely if you like this kind of style, and you already, you know, already have, or you already plan to have cottage living get together is also a pack that definitely is way, way, way similar, way, way similar. Um, and yeah, I think for a builder, it's cute, but it <laughs> sadly, it's like a very late expansion pack, right? Like we have seen a lot of other packs already. The execution is very well done. Sometimes the swatches, as always, don't really match up. There are some thinking problems with like the Primrose Road and like the different swatches for the for the spray paint, but not for the you know for the for the floor. I don't know where that even is in this. I had to delete it here. This one. Um. So it's just uh, weird. Yeah, the spray paint it comes only comes in the pink, but like the floor comes in different colors. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's stuff like that where you're like, huh, I don't get it. Also here, I would have loved to see more swatches because now I'm bound. If I want to play, if I want to build a farm with animals on it, I'm now bound to the look of these sheds and to the chicken coops. Maybe I can make it work to kind of, you know, put objects over them to kind of hide stuff. I don't know. Also the topiaries, yeah, there's not much plants that are outside plants. I think there's more produce with that. Definitely gonna hide that shed at some point and kind of figure out how to hide that one with like something over it or whatever, I don't know. Yeah, but definitely it's something that will happen. Kind of have to look that up. But yeah, stuff like that. So I don't, I'm not a fan of how this gameplay works that I can't just buy a cow in build mode and put it somewhere. And then, you know, at least it's doesn't have a shitty shack, a shed or like a chicken coop. It's okay. It's okay. I think this is like the only way how they could implement it into the game. Maybe um, I definitely am more for the fairy tale medieval stuff. That's something, you know, I always like the more quirky or not necessarily family gameplay kind of builds but like the experimental builds so that's like more up my alley here of course the tiny little clutter there's lots of clutter in there that's really nice but overall i would have said the only problem of cottage living is it's one of the later it's one of the later packs expansion packs we have seen so much already and it doesn't bring so much new stuff on the table therefore because we have seen it already you know that's one of the biggest problem it's not the first it's not the first and the theming is not super different like if this would have been the scandinavian theming i don't know russian maybe even something african african we still don't have anything okay now we have the courtyard oasis kit which is northern african maybe a rocket or something but you know what i mean like savannah kind of things or very indian or something like very different from the styles that we already very westerny Amer american-y i guess styles that we already have this is not so far from it so um yeah, that's the only problem this pack has. It is a very good building pack, I guess. I still have to build a lot with that. This is also not the final version. This is like, as you can see with the watermark, not the, you know, end version. Maybe, you know, stuff will get added and whatnot. The biggest downfall is the thing with the counters here, with where the drawers are situated. That's like just a total brain fart and like everyone was in and never tested or whatever. I don't know what happened there. Doesn't make any sense. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm happy about all these very, like lots of new windows and lots of new doors. That's very good. Um, but yeah, lots of these stuff we have already seen. Like I said, we have seen these columns. We have seen lots of the styles of the windows and base game, even base game, like not even other, other, uh, packs. So yeah, it is, it is what it is. I'm not a huge cottage core fan. It's always cute and quaint and stuff, but yeah, I would have loved if they went more into the fairy tale direction and also gave us fairies with that and maybe 
kick the whole cooking preserving thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but I hate cooking in the game. I, I couldn't care less. But uh, I know that lots and lots of other people would have liked that probably or cross touching. Um, yeah, I would have loved to see at least like fairies and go into more and like kind of do these two themes together: British countryside with fairy, gnome creatures, whatever, elves or whatever. Um, I guess that would have been more up my alley. But as a builder, yeah, it's nice. I think, though, if you not necessarily want the animals, which I personally do, it's lots of fun to have them in the background in your builds. And the gardening, I think get together is better. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I know that some of the developers watch my videos, so I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This is not overall bad. It's very good, but... Yeah, this is definitely something like Seasons, for example, where I also said for Builder Seasons brings nothing new in styles and forms and shapes to build mode. But it is one of the most beloved EPs, right? Because it's a gameplay focused EP. I think this is the same here with the preserving, with the animals, with the gardening and stuff. Um, it brings nothing new to the building catalog that much by styles and like innovations or whatever like we have seen all these objects somehow before in mods or cc or something right like this is nothing like where i'm like oh, wow very very exciting the totsu is very exciting though <laughs> but um yeah i think i would say this is kind of like parenthood and like seasons and stuff that is very very catered to the gameplay simmers i guess than the builders i guess I guess, I guess. I still have to gameplay this, but yeah. Yeah, maybe look it up. Like I'm going to try to do some builds now, of course, and go, you know, and if you see something in the build videos and you're like, oh my God, I really want to have that or really need that object. Maybe you saw something, hate and get it. If you hate it, maybe wait until it's like 10% off. I don't know. It's it's a cute pack though. It's a cute pack, but it's definitely catered, in my opinion, more to the game players. Sorry to say, it is. It is. I would have loved for them to go more the medieval route and fairy tale route or something. Would have been more up my alley personally. All right. I think that's it, guys. I hope that you liked this review. It was very very long. Timestamp, as always, are down below. Put me in the comments what I missed. Maybe I didn't get something. Maybe some of you are British and know what the hell is going on with some of these things. Um, are the counters is that like my fault what the hell is happening but yeah I hope that this was helpful I know this is as always a very long review but uh, yeah I wanted to show you everything give you you know my ideas behind that um, and maybe this helped you decide if you need this pack if you want this pack if you're gonna get this pack in like a sale right away whatever um, I really liked it. This is a really cute little object. Probably gonna use a lot of them at some point and then say, oh my god, this is a really good builder's pack. And kind of regret that I said this in this video now because I had that definitely in some of my other videos where I'm like, oh my god, I was so mean. I didn't see that, how much it actually brings to the table. So yeah, take this all with a grain of salt, what I'm saying in here. Um, still hope that this was somehow helpful for your decision if you want to get this pack. And I see you in another video where you're gonna build with this. So yeah, long story video short. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.